Good morning. It's about 7 a.m. and I've been up for about two hours this morning. I already had my porridge and my coffee. Um, I'm not quite sure what that noise is. I think it's a cow. <laughs> but yeah, I've already had my coffee and my porridge this morning. Woke up to a soaking wet tent. And this is what's really good, even though it's even though it's pretty miserable having a wet sleeping bag. This is why I'm doing this hike because it's teaching me um, what not to do and learning lessons before I head out to the PCT next year. Lesson number one. If it's really, really cold, about five degrees Celsius, I think it was last night, um, don't sleep with the, the fly off. <laughs> thinking, oh how beautiful to look at all the pretty stars. No, it is really cold, really misty. So what happens when it's misty? All that water, all the condensation comes right into the tent through all the vents and all the mesh. So yeah, woke up about one o'clock this morning. Everything absolutely soaked. But the stars were pretty <laughs> and the moon was nice. And also lesson number two, when getting up in the middle of the night, thinking you know where you're going, take a torch because on the way back from going to the loo, I walk smack bang into a, um, a bench. <laughs> so I've got a pretty bruise on my calf this morning. So yeah, two lessons already learnt. But it is a beautiful morning. I'm hoping to hike about 14, 14 and a half miles today, heading off to Lagan. Um, and that's apparently got a nice little wild camping spot so that'd be good yesterday I ended up doing about ten and a half and I'd set off about quarter past twelve and got to camp four o'clock <laughs> so a bit of a lazy day yesterday but I was up at quarter to four that morning so yeah off I go First stream crossing, will I make it? Hey! <laughs> We've just been wandering down this road and come across a practice landing craft. It's an original that was used in World War II by the Army and Royal Marine Commandos and they've left this up here to show you what it looks like and they used it up here in the highlands. Yeah, very interesting. Day. I've done about 10 miles so far today, which is good for me. Um, 
normally do that in a whole day at the moment but yeah 10 miles I've done it's been an amazing walk it's been mainly through forest areas but with beautiful scenery and it's been a track as well so kind of like a stony path most of the way um, but with views of the lock so it's, it's been absolutely glorious weather it was quite cloudy in with all the trees but since I've been up here it's just been bright hot sunshine again so this is what you do when it's very sunny and you've been camping drying out my sleeping bag from the night before when it got wet and my towel and my bag best use of sunny weather <laughs> just been walking along this trail and it's it's really really beautiful you've got beautiful forests um, either side of me and really really peaceful minding my own business flat path more or less just like a stony path and I go over on my ankle oh, I, I just feel so stupid because I wasn't climbing up or jumping over anything I wasn't not paying attention I was being so careful and it just went over real suddenly hurt real quick but I didn't hear anything crack or crunch. Um, I did do my ankle in, I think was it February, earlier this year, and it's only just recovered in August, July, August time, but that was my left ankle. I've gone over on my right ankle today, so I've been walking for about 20 minutes since it happened, and it hurts, but it's bearable as long as I don't tilt it too much. So I'm gonna get to camp tonight, take some ibuprofen, and see how I get on tomorrow, but oh, it's so frustrating because it's absolutely beautiful and everything was going so well. I'd just been sitting there drying my sleeping bag. Yeah, that's life. I'll see how it goes.